trained on one man in imperious form and the leading marksman in the league. Can he add to his total today on EA TV? Hello and welcome to a very passionate football venue. I'm talking, of course, about Elland Road. I'm Derek Ray, getting ready to bring you all the action, accompanied by my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Leeds United up against Newcastle United. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Number 17, Mark Rocker. Number 10, Crescencio Somerville. Number 11, Jack Harrison. Number 19, Rodrigo. And a look at the starting 11 for Leeds United. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play the two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. So the starting 11 for Newcastle United. Nick Pope gets the nod between the posts. Kieran Trippier starts with Matt Target in the fullback positions. Miguel Almiron plays with Alan San Maxima in the wide areas. And the striker today is Alexander Izak. Thank you, Ellen Road. Enjoy the game. And the match begins. Joe Willock. Gordon. Really good challenge. Out of play. Newcastle throw in forthcoming. Joe Willock. A bit wasteful from the Magpies. Bruno Guimaraes. Well, I understand there's been a goal in the Fulham match, and Alex Scott has the details. Yes, it's a goal for Chelsea. They've scored the open up with six minutes played. There's no wasting time here, Derek. Thanks for the update, Alex. Well, the Magpies flying high on the goal-scoring front, and the record speaks for itself. Well, their build-up play away Oh, from wait home. a minute, Stuart. Look what's happening. There it is, the opening goal of this match, and what a start they've made. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Harrison. And they need to get tighter here. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Rodrigo. Will he find the net? Oh, a vital piece of last-ditch defending. Isaac. Anthony Gordon. Now, who can he play it to? And it's with Isaac. A very effective challenge put in. 
Almiron crossed accurately towards the far post in it goes delighted to be two in front things look good for them now Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box, just begging someone to get on the end of it. But just look at the space he has. He doesn't even have to jump. Of course it's a good finish, but the marking is woeful. So the ball rolling again at 2-0. Patient build-up at the moment. And a tidy ball. That's really good and effective physical play. Who can he pick out? Just the tackle that was needed. Can they hit on the break? And that's very good refereeing to let the play flow. Will he play it in? It comes to nothing in the end. Rodrigo. The attack continues, they're making considerable progress. Couldn't find a teammate, throw in here. Well, the referee deciding to let the play flow, but now it will be a booking, Stuart. Well, as soon as the ball went dead, he was always going to book him, and he's absolutely right to do so. Could cross it in here. Now showing excellent judgment to intercept. And he's got the beating of his opponent. A chance to eat into their lead. The save was a good one. And now the delivery. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Still looking to get the shot off. Rodrigo. Magnificent defending. Oh, he saved it well. Well, there it is. Newcastle just haven't had as much of the ball, but when they have won it back in midfield areas, their counter-attacking has been excellent. They'll be happy with the way the game's going at the moment. Well, that's right, preserving the lead and doing it really well. Well, that is how to play advantage. Options in the middle. Can he finish? And that is how to block. Trippier, Guimaraes, Sam Maxima. Individual brilliance. But no damage done, that's the main thing. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Well, it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. Bruno Guimaraes. Trippier now. Guimaraes. Anthony Gordon. Not a great pass. Harrison. And 
And the flag does go up. Must have been tight. And with play having stopped, a chance for the referee to go back and hand out the caution. Trippier. Well, totaling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. And a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. He's enjoying space. And the referee blows the whistle. It is half time officially here. Positive signs for Newcastle. They lead at the interval. Well, we said before the game what a brilliant side they are going forward, and they've proved that in the first half. Their combination play all over the pitch has been really good. It's been a. And the match begins. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how this second half pans out. Well, that'll be a free kick. And don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Leeds United facing Fulham. <laughs> and fired from the flank into the area. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Sam Maxima. Can he put it in? Terrific save. Well, the keeper deserves a lot of credit. That was a fine save, wasn't it? Well, in possession now and looking to create something of their own. And not a great challenge. Free kick here. So, making the substitution now. Dallas. Oh, stylish ball. What can they do now? Rodrigo. Bruno Guimaraes. Not what he was intending. Bad pass. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Giving it a try. Oh, a nearly moment, but not quite good enough. Well, you certainly can't fault them for effort. They keep applying the pressure, and if they can just nick one, they're right back in this. And the substitution will occur now. Guimaraes. Well, make sure you join us for more Premier League action coming your way. It's Newcastle United facing Wolves. Well, the stats confirm it. Leeds have had the lion's share of possession, but they've shown a real lack of creativity today. They need to be far more inventive in the final third if they're to turn things around here. Breaking at pace. Well, let's see if something comes of this. And there it is, a chance. And not cleared away properly. Well, a fantastic counter-attack as they move through the gears, but not a brilliant end product. Well, everything looked good until the finish, but that shows how dangerous they are on the break.
Isaac. Leeds recovering possession well. Harrison. Saint Maxima. It's got to be. Oh, that is a majestic goal. Volleyed home with precision and style. Superbly done. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And he does well to read the flight of the ball, to be fair. Almost just cushions it beyond the goalkeeper, and that seemed to catch him off guard. A really good, controlled finish. So on they go again, and the Magpies beginning to run away with this. Rodrigo. Harrison. And unable to keep possession. Sam Maxima. Almiron. That's an effective cross aimed at the back post. Well, mopping up defensively. This might be ideal for the counter. Losing possession here. A foul it most certainly was. Free kick given. Substitution time it is here. Well, the second half drawing to a close. Newcastle fans will be excited about this. Well, what can you say about this performance? They've been absolutely brilliant. They've played with such guile and creativity, and their passing has been so expansive. Not many teams would have stopped them today. Miguel Almiron. A deft clearance. Long staff. And it's with Isaac. Now with Almiron. Opportunity, San Maxima. Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. It is a decent looking attack here. Can he finish this? Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. And they will make the change now. Number 15, Stuart Dallas, to be replaced by number four, Adam Forshaw. And there's the delivery. Well, he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Really vital interception here. And we've entered the final five minutes. He's found a pocket of space. Trippier. And then the perfect position to read it.
Patrick Bamford. That's a good looking ball. Rodrigo. Really important piece of last ditch defending. Anthony Gordon. Well, wait, don't go anywhere. We're going to have five additional minutes. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Well, visionary passing. Oh, wonderful goalkeeping. Well, you have to say, from that sort of distance, that's a wonderful save. Trying to pick out a teammate. Not away completely. Well, they survived the attack. Long staff. Lovely ball over the top. Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Well, here it is again. It's a wonderfully weighted ball over the top. And what a great finish it is. Struck with power and accuracy. Certainly no stopping that. Goal for Newcastle And that will be that. The final whistle here. And Newcastle fans around the world will be delighted with the outcome. What did you make of their performance? Well, Derek, they were the better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances. We saw an attack which was always threatening, and they played really well. What a performance that was today.